I just killed my bugs that were in my piece of wood by putting them in the freezer. But now I've got left with all these little holes. Yeah, you know, little holes on there. So how are we going to deal with them? Well, I'm going to show you. It's really simple, actually. And if you're not too worried about the colour, what have you, although you can deal with that as well. Well, this is a really simple, simple, simple uh, technique for you. All you need. Uh huh. Oh, let me get, let me go and grab them. Yeah. There we go. All you need is a cocktail stick, literally. So let me show you. So so simple. So here's my piece of wood with the offending holes in the end. Here's one there, one there, one there, one there. Now, even though I put these this piece of wood in the freezer because I was worried, you know, just in case, just in case there was larvae in there. I don't think they're seen there anyway. I think it's come and gone. Most, yeah, quite often it's just come and gone. So it's probably another piece of furniture, you know. So what you do is you grab a cocktail stick, stick like so, a little bit of super glue, like, like so. You use PVA if you want. Just put it in the hole if you want. Yeah. I overdid that a little bit, but there you go. And then literally, what well, I tend to, I tend to break that off first. So I've got a flat end, and I'll, and I'll put it in the hole. Like so. If you're not too worried about the colour and stuff like that, but you just want to block the holes up. You can obviously, um, because these are beach. These are cocktail sticks. Oh, yeah, they're beach. And uh, for the beach, well, they might even be bamboo. Just drive it to the hole like so. Like that. And then grab your um, a Stanley knife or a sharp chisel, such as this one here. And just slice it off like that. And then that's got the holes filled up. And same with this one. You're going to get two out of each, generally. So we've got another one there, let's do that one. I'll make a little bit of glue off there, because you don't need, you need hardly any glue, because you just got to stop from coming out again. Drive it into the hole like so. Slice it off like so. And do the same again, that one over there. Make a bit of glue off there, because I put too much on the side. And then we'll just take it over the sander and just sand it off. And these holes will be, you know, okay, okay. If you're worried about the um, colour, if you want colour, you know, you can always dye the wood. Or you could use a matching piece of timber and a trimming piece down into like a cocktail stick. It could be square even, it doesn't really matter. But it does the job. So that one there. Into the hole. I'll snap that off. That's in there. There you go. Filled all the holes up. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, there's another one there. Found that one. If there is anything in there, they'll be dead because this has been frozen overnight. This piece of wood. You know, and that's how the museum service does it. So, uh, is that a hole there? Might be. Yeah, another one there. Bum, 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 bum. One there, like so. And what I'm going to do now is take it over to the, the sander over here, that like linen shit type sander, and we'll just. You know, oh no, it's noisy! So they are. The holes are filled up and the bugs are dead. Yeah, little bugs. The other way you can do it, if you don't like the staining, if it's a little bit of wood, you know, because I think it's come and gone, to be honest. If they're not fresh holes, and you've got this, like, blackness around the holes, what you can do is literally drill them out and drive a bigger piece of wood in. So drill a hole, to make the hole a little bit bigger, and then grabbing the ch your chisel and a piece of wood, uh, it could be a little scrap like that, so to speak, and you slice it down until, it, you know, you've got a bit of tapered piece that you can drive into the hole. A bit of whittling will do the job. But that's up to you. That's terms of what you want, doesn't it, really? What you want from it. But that's pretty good enough what I want. So anyway, that's how I fill my woodworm holes. Yeah, little blighters. Yeah, I'll teach them. Throws the little blighters to death. That's what we did. <laughs> yeah. It does give me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. And so will. If you press the old like button, and maybe that, you know, that bell icon, because then you will get a warm, fuzzy feeling inside every time I upload another video. Or you might want to avoid me. Either way, <laughs> it's up to you. Anyway, have a lovely day. Ta-ta.